Hello there drummers and other humans, it's me Joe again and I'm back with another video about the Texas Shuffle or the thing I know as a Texas Shuffle anyway, I'm sure somebody would like to have an argument with me about terminology. Bring it on! In my previous videos on the subject I showed you how to play a double-handed shuffle or Texas Shuffle with uh, both hands playing the shuffle on the ride and the snare. Then we did a swing on the ride with the shuffle on the snare. The third and last variation I'm going to show you in this series about the Texas shuffle or whatever it's called is going to be to play quarter notes on the ride. Uh, again, I would just start working with the hands, but when we play quarter notes, I mean playing the one, two, three, four. So we're just going to play the full shuffle with the left hand on the snare in my case, and then we're going to play the quarter notes on the ride. If you've never done this before, take it slow. Start with your hands only and play a shuffle on the left hand uh, without any accent on the snare drum to start with. One and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two just get used to the flow one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one then bring the accent in on two and four and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four try not to accent right hand at the same time only the left only the snare drum one and two and three, easier said than done. One and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, uh, something I didn't point out in the other videos is sometimes you want to accent uh, the cymbal as well as the snare drum. It feels really good in some situations. But if you can learn how to play it without accenting the right hand as much as possible, it's relatively easier to add the accent afterwards if you've got used to doing it without. Once we've got the hang of doing that with the hands, we're going to add the foot playing bass on one, two, three, and four, all four quarter notes, like so. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four then left foot plays two and four, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. Okay, and that's it. That's your third variation of the Texas Shuffle. Um, this sounds pretty good if you play it on the bell as well. I don't know if the digital abomination will allow me to do that reliably today, but let's give it a try. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Kind of. It's kind of let me do that more or less. Thank you, digital abomination. Anyway, that's that. You now have three different patterns you can play. In my next couple of videos on this subject, I'll show you how to vary the bass drum and the uh, maybe even the left foot hi-hat pattern and the snare too. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with another one as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and all of that. Please leave a comment if you enjoyed this and uh, go away and practice.